Finishing SLA prints using superglue. The glue in question is the most common one available, cyanoacrylate glue. I semi-recently read that the glue was originally not designed as a glue, but instead it was made for optics in the 1940s. But during testing, the chemical was found out to be so hard to work with that it was abandoned because it would bond the most surfaces immediately. In the 1960s, it was made into the superglue that we now know as the superglue. I later saw someone use superglue as a woodworking surface finish and started thinking, maybe I could use the glue as a surface finish for 3D prints, especially the SLA prints made with the Form 2. Maybe the finish is good enough so that I can keep using the fastest print settings and by just slapping a coating on top of it, I can get better results. I've previously used superglue to fix my set of Sennheiser headphones, and during the repair I noticed that the clear coating was really clear. Since I had the SLA print from my fridge door project, I thought that this would be a perfect candidate for testing. Not only because it's made with the Form 2, but also because it has a frosted finish and is made from a clear resin. So we can test what kind of optical clarity we can get with this glue. Appluing the glue is simple, just slather it on, but each coat takes several hours to dry. So I ended up doing several coats over several days to see what kind of end result we can get. Always remembering to put a cup on top of the print to not let dust settle on it, but also to leave a small gap as super glue requires moisture in air to dry. And here we can see the completed test piece, and it turned out kind of nice, but it's not perfect. It seems that the super glue can be used to get a better surface finish than you would get otherwise, as we can see when we compare it to the part that wasn't coated, which is still frosted. That's all for today. I hope this was interesting and I'll see you next time.